Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be testing out another Folklore product. So this is the Smile Like Sunshine palette. Um, I said I'd try this palette out a couple of videos ago when I did my review on this brand. Like my full face review. I'll make sure to leave that linked down below for you guys. But I wanted to try out this palette just because it's so fun and summery and bright. And I did have a few of you guys saying you would like me to test out this palette as well and I was going to get to it and I thought today I'll sit down and I will I'll film a tutorial using it. I'm not quite sure what look I want to do if I want to keep it simple or make it dramatic but I'm really excited to try this out. So one other thing I wanted to mention about the brand, they're doing a very discounted sale for you guys on the 29th of November, so Black Friday, so I'll make sure to leave all the information down below if you would like to check them out and just keep that in mind if you would like to purchase some of their products. Just hold off until the 29th of November when it is Black Friday because you will get a huge discount on their products on their website. But yeah, let's get to it, Sawyer. Okay, so as you guys can tell, I've already done my base and my brows. I'll make sure to leave those two tutorials down below as well because I have updated my foundation routine and brow routine. So you guys can see it's quite a warm tone palette. There's a couple of glitters in here, a few mattes and things, a few transitions and things to play around with. So I've already primed my lids and everything with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. You guys can just use concealer if you want or you don't even have to prime your base. However, I do recommend that you do just because the eyeshadows will stick a lot better to your eye and show the pigment better, like they're more vibrant. Oh, I have to like go through and clean all of my brushes because they've all got like black and purple and like deep colours on it from Halloween the other week. So like I'll go through and like actually properly clean them. For now I'm just doing like a little quick, little quick band-aid fix. So the first shade I'm going to take is Butter. And I'm just going to take Butter through the crease. So I kind of have an idea of what I want this look to turn out like. But I'm not quite sure execution wise and how I'm going to play it out. So bear with me if I'm bouncing back and forth between different colours and shades and things like that. Next I'm going to take French Fries which is the shade below Butter. And again place that through my crease. The shades, like the names for these different eyeshadows are so cute. I love when they come up with cute little names like that. Just deepens it up a little bit. It's a very yellow at the moment so I might bring some of that sun kiss shade and place that through my outer crease with a petite crease brush. Mm, yeah, I do quite like the mix. That's quite pretty. And don't worry too much if you're getting a lot of it on the lid because we will cut the crease. I'm just going back in with french fries. Just softening the edges. I have to say they do blend so well together. Like, it's not a hassle to have to try and mix colours because they just blend so smoothly. Okay, so next I'm going to cut my crease and I'm just going in with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Again, you guys can go in with concealer if you'd prefer. Whatever you find is easiest to work with. And I'm just bringing it slightly above my natural crease. And I'm just doing a half cut crease today. So, just bringing it about halfway across my lid and feathering out the edges. And then I'm just going to go and set over that concealer with some of this satin shade called Avocado Heart. It's like a satin greeny yellowy shade. And I'm just going back in with a bit of Sun Kiss. Deepen up the outer corner a bit. So next I'm going to create quite a thick wing because I'm kind of vibing this like glitter wing liner look. So what I want to first do is like draw on quite a thick winged liner just like you would... Um, across your eye normally but like I said just make it a little bit thicker than you would normally make it and I'm going in with like an actual angled brow brush to just apply this on I find it a lot more easier to do it with a brush rather than the wand just a little bit like that so it's nice and thick and extravagant we'll put some extravagant lashes on as well but what I originally want to do is actually add like some glitter along the winged liner so I'm going to do it from inner corner and like taper it out toward the outer corner. So I'm going to take some House of Lashes eyelash glue and I'm just going to place that, kind of just dot it on along the like liner. 
to adhere the glitter to. And taking, I'm pretty much going to dip into all three glitters, so Superstar, Sunflower and Crown. So the lashes I've chosen to go in with today are the Style Feisty from Anitude Lashes. Mm, I love that glitter, it's so pretty, it's that Superstar one I used mainly on the like lash line. I just love that pop of blue. It's just like, mmm. Mmm. Okay, to quickly finish off the eyes, I'm going to take a nude eye curl in my bottom waterline. It just opens up the eyes a little bit more. Then taking Sun Kiss on my Precise Shader Brush from Zoeva. I'm just wiggling that tightly against my bottom lash line. And then just taking some of French fries and sun kiss on my pencil brush. I'm just going to buff that out. And then for my brow bone in a corner, I think I might take some of Tomorrow and Avocado Heart and mix those two together. Ooh, 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 ooh that is pretty. Oh, I love those two together. Oh, they're so nice. Oh, that is so pretty. And then I'm just going to finish off with some mascara on my bottom lashes. So this concludes today's makeup look. This just is a simple eye, I mean, simple. This glam eye makeup look. I really am digging the glitter liner. I haven't done a glitter liner in like a while. So I'm actually loving how it turned out. If you guys did like it, please make sure to leave a big thumbs up. If you are interested in the lip combination, I'll make sure to leave my tutorial down below as well as any other tutorials that I mentioned throughout this video. <laughs> if you guys are interested in a like more simplistic eye makeup look with this eye palette, please let me know down below in the comment section and any other requests, like any requested videos down below. Otherwise, have an amazing day. I love you all so much and I'll see you very soon. Bye!